Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever episode of Mind the Scat. In today's video I'll be talking about the importance of focus and mindfulness in music practice and performance. And in general, this series will be about music on one side and on the other side about mindfulness and meditation. And how to put these two together, what we can learn as musicians from meditation and vice versa. How those two correlate with each other. I came across the meditation and mindfulness practices like six months ago and I've been meditating daily ever since. And it improved my life in many ways. But as well, I started noticing while practicing guitar, I'm a guitarist by the way, I started noticing that my focus and my sort of being in the zone and in the moment improved a lot while doing this meditation. If you think about it, what, what is it we like the most about our favorite uh, performers? It's usually the fact that while they're doing their thing, they can be entirely in the moment, in the zone, they just like completely in it. Why wouldn't we practice this, this alone, this focus, as a separate skill as well, rather than just focusing only on scales and practicing the chops and how, how to play faster. Sometimes when we practice we tend to wander with our mind to the other things and even when we're performing we're distracted and it's sometimes hard to stay focused and in the zone and strike this balance between being able to be entirely focused on the thing and, that, and then as well being sort of outside ourselves while we're playing or performing. Because if I think about my uh, greatest memories from performing, it was where I felt like sort of I was observing myself playing. It wasn't even me doing it, I was just like watching my fingers and it sounded amazing sort of thing. So this is the balance we're trying to strike. Okay, so I prepared five exercises for you. I think you could do at the beginning of your practicing routine or throughout or whatever. Uh, so here, just disclaimer, we're practicing focus. We're not focusing on, on technique or anything else. We're focusing on focus. So first exercise, just simply breath. Get yourself in the zone. So what I would do before I start practicing, I would just stretch myself. This is why common I would stretch myself like this and the other way around as well just simply like that fingers and and then I would just take the deep breath on the same count in and out so I would go and out I would usually do like five, seven, even more, whatever you prefer. And even now when I did it, I, I'm already noticing that my mind is much calmer and I'm much more in the zone and I can focus much more even on doing this video or playing, practicing, whatever. Okay, that's, that's, that's the beginning. Next exercise I would recommend you just take your metronome, turn on your click, whatever tempo, then set the timer for, let's say, two minutes and try to close your eyes and keep your focus on the repetitive sound of the metronome. So this is not about rhythm, this is not about tempo or whatever, it's just about focus. So you basically create an object in your head out of this clicking, ticking sound, close your eyes and you're trying to stay on that. Whenever you find yourself wandering somewhere else, thinking about what you're going to have for dinner or, or your shopping list, just force yourself back to this clicking sound. So I would just press, press the metronome and I would go. For two minutes or more, whatever you can handle. So this, is, this also gets you uh, laser focused on something, some object. 
Then next exercise, I would take my guitar now and I would pick a note, let's say, let's pick G for now. I would press metronome, uh, st uh, start the metronome again and then I would play all G's on my fretboard wherever I can find them. Yeah, see, it's quite tricky. It keeps you uh, one step ahead. You need to think ahead a little bit, which is also important skill. And then, if this is get, this gets easy, I would pick triads like that. So G triad, G major triad, and I would play it everywhere on the fretboard in kind of sort of random order. So it's not so easy like just playing arpeggios. Next exercise, the fourth one, I would turn my metronome all the way down for let's say 30 BPM and I would play something very simple, uh, something you know very well. I'll, for this purposes, as an example, I'll pick uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and I would play it with maximum focus. Remember, this is not about song practicing, this is not about technique, this is about the focus itself. So I go like that. There's never enough of this focus. You can never be, you can always be more in there if you know what I mean. So you can always be a little bit more involved, a little bit better. You can focus on your body, what your body is doing. You notice certain tensions in your body, which is also something you would do when you would meditate or practice some mindfulness. Okay, next thing, and the last thing would be pick something repetitive, some repetitive uh, pattern like this also with your metronome on preferably set your timer again for a couple minutes and play this pattern all over again and just focus on it and try to play it better every time and nicer yeah, that's basically it. It's sort of similar to mantra meditation, if you've heard of it. Mantra meditation, you basically mentally say something in your head repetitively, some sentence, or it can be just the sounds or rhythm or whatever, and you're focusing on that instead of your thoughts, so you don't get lost in thoughts. So yeah, that was my last exercise for you. If I look at John Mayer, for example, when he plays a solo, he's like sort of in a different world and you, he sort of takes you with him and that's what we love. Uh, if I watch Billy Strings, which is a young bluegrass celebrity, when he plays, it's sort of, he's like, it just drags you, you can feel it from him and that's important. I'm not saying the other stuff is not important, like scales and all these kind of things, it's important as well because if you're not comfortable with your technique, if you're not comfortable with what you're playing, then you probably wouldn't be able to do this. I hope this video brought you some value and you may in incorporate some exercises to your practice routine. And that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, click like button and see you in the next video. And don't forget, mind the scan.